Welcome to Bangkok, the capital of Thailand, the city once called the Venice of the East, with its numerous waterways, the Chao Phraya River and the canals used by locals for transport, and also a good way to sightsee the city. We're coming to you live from the Impact Arena for the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cups 2022. This venue is used throughout the year for large-scale events, including sporting ones like the badminton we're witnessing this week. We're into day four of the tournament and the business end of the group stages with most teams having secured their knockout berths. It's all about fighting for top spots. Of course, the finals will be on the weekend, the Uber Cup final on Saturday and the Thomas Cup final on Sunday. On court one, it's all about the Thomas Cup this afternoon. Let's look at how the groups have been made out. Indonesia, the defending champions in action shortly in Group A. Chen Time winners, China in Group B. India, Chinese Taipei in Group C. And then, of course, Japan in Group D. But we are focusing on Group A and the battle for top spot between Indonesia and Korea, who've won two ties apiece. Indonesia on top, courtesy of those matches won. They won more at eight. Korea have won at six. So, on court one, as I mentioned, we're coming to you live. We've already witnessed Uber Cup action this morning at 9 a.m. We saw Japan defeat Indonesia 4-1. And they're through, of course, to the knockouts, the 2018 champions. On Coming up on court one in the afternoon, it is Indonesia versus Korea in Group A. And then later on, the evening session, another mouth-watering Thomas Cup clash between Denmark and China. Well, in Indonesia, the defending champions are looking to make it three out of three today, up against Korea. Let's look at how the teams are stacking up. Anthony Sinasuka Ginting will take on Hyo Kwang Hee of Korea in the first of the men's singles. Both these men desperate for a win. In men's doubles, an interesting combination awaits us in Mohamed Asan and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulyo taking on Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. Then we've got the second men's singles, and as you can see, Jonathan Christie has been given a break. Shazar Hiren Rustavito will take on John Hyuk Jin, followed by the men's doubles, which sees world number eight, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto go up against young guns Jin Yong and Na Sung Seung. Finally, the last. But not least, it's Syabda Perkasa Balawa, a 20-year-old Indonesian, going up against Lee Yun Gyu. All five matches to be played in these group stages. And it is going to be an exciting one that awaits us to begin things with. World number five, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, up against world number 31, Korea's number one men's singles player, Hyo Kwang Hee. Total energy. And as I mentioned, Indonesia, of course, one of the favorites to win the title again. The defending champions are looking for three in three, hoping to top Group A. And we wait for the players to take to the courts. They last did back-to-back -back title wins in 2000, 2002, Indonesia. So it's been some time. And they'll be hoping to repeat the feat this time around as well in 2022 having won the 2020 edition. There we have Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, the 25-year-old Indonesian Korea. who is looking for his first win in the tournament Hyo still, as is Korea's Hyo Kwang Hee, who is 26. And he too is winless so far in the Thomas Cup. Uh -huh. So both these men are absolutely desperate to get a win under their belt. Let me tell you that uh, the matches that Ginting faced before this one was against Loki Yu first of Singapore, and he lost that in straight game. But then he played Kunlavut Vititsan of Thailand, and he lost that in three. Hyo Kwang Hee had a similar result. He first played Kunlavut Vititsan, and he lost that in straight games. And then he played Lok and Yu, losing that in straight games as well. So a change of fortunes is what both of them are looking for as we get ready to witness the toss. It is.
is the third, fourth meeting between these two. Ginting leading 3-0 in their head-to-head. -head. The last meeting was in Thailand in January of 2021 for the Yonex Thailand Open. It was a round of 32 clash. And uh, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting won that in three games, 21-15, 11-21, 21-16. In fact, all three of their past clashes have gone to three games. So we should be accept expecting an absolute thriller here. So 25 years of age, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting ranked fifth in the world. He's gone up as high as three. He is, of course, the Olympic bronze medalist as well. In 2022, he's not had the best of starts. Before this tournament, his win-loss record was 8-5. His last match before the Thomas Cup was at the Badminton Asia Championships, where he lost in the quarterfinals to Wang Hong Yang in three games. In this tournament so far, as I mentioned, Lo Kin Yu was his first opponent, losing that in straight games, 13-21, 14-21. And then Kunlav Vititsan was the other opponent that he lost to. That one went to 3, 12-21, 21-15, 9-21. So maybe a victory here is on the cards for Ginting, having improved between the first two performances. Hyo Kwang Hee, 26 years of age, famously known, of course, for his win over Kenta Momota at the Olympics. That's what put him in the limelight from Daejeon, South Korea. Currently ranked 31 in the world, but has gone up to 28. 180 centimeters tall is Hill, 26 years of age, a right-handed player. And his 2022 win-loss record has also not been fantastic at 2-5. and five. So looking at his results at the tournament, he lost to Vititsan first, 14-21, 6-21. And then to the world champion, Lokin Yu, 14-21, 16-21. The chair empire for this match is from the Philippines, Jane Lunti Fundal. She will be officiating alongside the Mauritian service judge in Satyawan Mahadu as we get ready for the action to get underway. The other two times, the other three times, as I mentioned, these two have met. It's gone to three games. I talked about the Thailand Open in 21. Before that, they met in the Badminton Asia Championships in 2020. We're getting one and three in the group stages. And before that, in 2019, they locked horns. And that was at the Australian Open round of 32 clash. We're getting one in three. So another three gamer on the crowd and on the cards, potentially. As badminton fans, we certainly would love to see that. Ready? So, Hyo Kwang Ladies and gentlemen, will serve on my right, to get Indonesia, this match represented started. by Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. <laughs> and on my left, Korea, represented by Yo Kwang Hee. Korea to serve. Love all. Play. Came okay, charging forward, Ginting. One there. Love. Ready to attack. Oh. Making clear his intent straight away. That's gone out. Service over. Well, One all. We've seen before oh. players choosing to play on the nearer court because of the drift. Service over. Two. Ginting has done the same. One. Wanting to take the advantage on the far end should this match go to three. And that's out. So Service over. we've seen many times that players struggle with the drift when they're playing on the nearer end of the court.
That's nice. Lovely backhand. So here Kwang He doing well to stay in Three, the rally. Two. We saw this a fair bit Anthony, yesterday as uh, well. Indonesia challenges. As Ginting challenges the call. Out. It's been called out. We saw this a couple of times, a few of times yesterday in the matches played, where players choosing to play with the drift often misjudge their shots, their range, and went long or wide. <laughs> Good challenge from Ginting there. That one in. Correction. So, a successful challenge. Service over. And it's three points apiece. Three all. Play. that shot was going. Five, three. He is uh, struggling with his confidence this year, Ginting. His best performance in this year was at the Swiss Open where he got to the semi-finals. He has been without a title since 2020, really, an uh, individual title. And that was at the Indonesian Masters. Attacking play from Hyo Kwang He. Six, three. Just gliding the shuttle across the net. And he's opened up a three point gap here. left. Service over. Four, six. In the last Thomas Cup in Aarhus, we saw Ginting have a mixed bag of results in the group stages as well, where he won one and lost one. He is definitely a player who likes to feel confident. And, you know, when he gets into his winning momentum, Things really fall into place for Five, him. Five, six. So he's really, really trying hard to get a victory here. Well, this is good play from Ginting to narrow the gap. Well out. Oh. <coughs> Service over. It's a little bit tit for tat at the moment six. as both players try to find their rhythm in this match. from Hill. I guess reactionary almost trying to make sure he got to the shuttle.
good save. Lovely. Cornelia. That's more like Challenges. it. Challenges. Called in. So here challenging the call. It was called in. And that was a beautiful shot, if it was indeed in, from Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Hmm. In it was, and it was right on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Who has one challenge Eight, remaining? Seven. And Ginting takes the lead in this game. He also playing in the Badminton Asia Championships before this. And he had an even earlier exit there, the round of 32, losing to Darren Liu in three games. So it's been a challenging year, to say the least, but at the moment, nine seven. it's Ginting who's making the right moves. Wipe the floor, please. Lovely backhand cross net from Ginting. He's got to play a patient game here as they find their rhythm, try to work out the play. drift. Not get too rattled by their opponents. No! Big yell Service from Kwangi there. Eight, nine. He knows that every point counts. Mistakes Coach. that are once again making the difference here. Ginting trying to find those lines, but as we've seen with the drift, it's been difficult for many players. Lovely return. Such a mental game, this. Service over. Ten all. Poor players fighting inner demons. out so Anthony Sinisuka Ginting takes the lead at the mid-game break really pushing Hio back with his overhead lob there so Anthony Sinisuka Ginting edging his opponent 11 minutes into game one
Go to the other side. Go to the Players back on court to resume game one. And Kinting will serve to get this game underway. Playing conditions, Ginting knows that if he just stays ahead or keeps pace with Hyo in this first game, he can then take advantage at the end, maybe, and try to seal a two game victory here when he changes ends later. Oh, that was so tight. Wow. Hiro Kwang Hee, how did he get that across the net? It's a good rally. And Anthony Sinesuga Ginting gets on top of that. Over. Down the line. 13, 12. Really well intercepted. Stretching all the way. Big smash, cross court. Service over. Hyo Kwang Hee. 13 all. Does really well to jump on that lift and go across the court. That Ginting's floor, controlling the shuttle a lot better now. Having had a good feel of the conditions. Thank you. Anthony. That's lovely. Service over. A little bit of a smile on Ginting's face. He was so close with that. He set it up really well. But that backhand going long in the end. was again very accurate with his shot making 
straight down across court. Just look at that jump. Getting enough height on it. To go across and stay within the lines, which has been so important. Try and keep the shots within range. Okay. So one point lead. 15 14. It's very, very tight first game. Play. Here, of course. It hasn't been even able to get a game so far in this tournament, which Ginting has managed against Kunlavut. Oh! Sorry, he charged over. forward on that, 15, going for the backhand cross court. Both times, kept a steep angle on those shots, just flicking the wrist. That's a big you. yell. And Hyo Kwang Hee will be Play. first aiming to get a game here before setting his Sights on the match. That was rushed. You're way too eager from Ginting. He had a lot of time to go for the kill. Lucky, but that was a lovely net shot from Ginting. Just, oh. Even though it skimmed across that net cord, he managed to get it across so tight. Wow. Slip there for Ginting. Just lost his footing. Oof, stretched out a little bit there. So he didn't hurt himself too much. Keeps looking at his coach, who I'm sure is instructing him, motivating him, egging him, egging him on. Hyo Kwang Hee, now four points away from victory here, but just has that one point lead. It's out. Unlucky. 18, Again, the right idea, but... Wipe the floor, please. Just missing the line there. Points ahead now for Hill. 
has played in five tournaments this year before the Thomas Uber Cup, but hasn't managed to get past the round of 16. He's, but his team here has gotten to the knockouts, and a win here would certainly set the tone for his tournament. Look at that. That was an attacking shot right at Ginting. Very aggressive play. Just twisting himself a little bit. So two points away from victory in this first game. Now a four-point run for Hyo Kwang Hee. And he sets up four game points with that. So, Hyo Kwang Hee takes the game, First game won by going on a five-point run. 16. Absorbing the attack of Ginting. And then with a little backhand nudge, he seals the first game, 21-16. Ginting nowhere around that backcourt area. 23 minutes is what it's taken for Hyo Kwang Hee to take the lead here. We're about to get game two underway in this first men's singles rubber between Hyo Kwang Hee, the world number 31, against the world number five, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Hyo having taken the first game, 21-16. Chair umpire trying to get his attention, trying to adjust his bag, has to be inside Second the box. Love ball. So we've got to see what Ginting can do, in, do here now. Play. He's got to win this to keep the match alive. Again, aggressive One. hitting from Long. Kwang Hee. Finds the gap really nicely. Lovely drop. 
that's out. So the struggles are real for Anthony Sinasuka Ginting. He's just now. Being a little bit careless with his shot making, Ginting, as Hill clamps down. And finally, Ginting on the scoreboard. gone for that overhead shot a few times now, but it's not been working out for him. Lucky there with the serve as well. He's got to change things up a little bit here, Ginting. Mentally, especially. That was misjudgment from Kuang Hee this time. As Ginting finally gets one in. on that Service shuttle, Hyo Kwang Hee. Five, three. It's quite warm in the arena today. Thank you. And that's certainly taking a toll on the players. But Hyo Kwang Hee looking to turn around his form here in Bangkok. Having lost his first two games in straight games, he's now taken a game off Ginting and is in the search for a win, leading 5-3 in the second. That's out. Just loosely hit. Down the line. Beautiful smash. Six, four. From Hyo Kwang Hee. That's a tremendous hit. Right towards the corner. The errors continue to haunt Seven, Ginting. Four. Just when you think he's making up some ground. Coach. It's been in mixed bag of Five, seven. points for Ginting. I mean, beautiful one, net shot, that one. one. But then it's not been consistently coming off Ginting's racket. Both these players are very important parts of their national teams. We saw Hyo Kwang Hee lead Korea to a bronze last year in the Sudaman Cup in Vanta. 
He's been part of Korea's bronze medal winning 2016 campaign in the Thomas Cup. Lovely. Again. Service over. Hyo Kwang Hee alert Play at the five. net. Just tracking back a little bit. To get that downward smash in. Big celebration, big yell with every point. Whereas Ginting has Service been a little over. bit more muted. Despite hitting winners like that. He knows he has quite a lot of ground to make up here, but he continues in that fashion. It will certainly Ready? become easier. Yo. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. It's been on the attack a little bit here now. Let's close the gap to a point. Make that it's eight points apiece for both players. Ginting has found his way back into this game. Hesitating there, Ginting and Hyo Kwang Hee completely capitalized on that hit. Nine, eight. This is a very different Ginting from even the one we saw in Arhus last year. He had a slowish start in the group stages, but Ten, eight. when it came to the knockouts, and he was right on top of his game. Whereas we've seen a lot more hesitation and doubt in this performance. It's still just a two point game. Nice. That was a big smash from Ginting's forehand, going down the line. Nine, ten. Hyo had really no answer to that. Uh, again, using the same tactic. Going down the line, forcing here to take the shuttle on the backhand. And it's worked for him three times in a row. Anthony Sinasuka Ginting edges Hyo Kwang Hee 11-10 in the second. Having trailed for a lot of this game, he's back in action. The Indonesian team a little bit happier now. <laughs> We love you too, as the Indonesian fans would say. So 11, 10, 12 minutes into the game, Ginting on the rise. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting will serve to get the second game started, having taken a one point lead. 11, 10. Hoping Play. that he's turned things around here.
defense is much better from Ginting. He's taken complete control of this point. What a rally and a point win for Ginting. He moved his opponent around so well. Look at that, pushing here on the back, and then at the net. He's controlling this point from start to finish. It's real intent from Ginting. Theo just left sh chasing the shuttle a little bit, really. The nudge of the shuttle at the net. Is this the comeback? Thank you. Ginting also such an important part of this Indonesian team. Play. And helping them to the gold in Arhus. Theo oh! Kwang, he responds. Service all work. In aggressive fashion. Cross-court smash. Not going to let this go easily. That's out. Conditions having its say in that point as Kwang Hee goes long. But he Sorry, himself over. has stayed in this game with some aggressive hitting. We saw cross court a couple of points ago and now down the line he goes. Man, Hyo Kwang Hee has taken some of the biggest scalps in his career. Dangerous opponent. But Ginting is not letting go. Going for the kill shot. from Anthony Sinasuke Ginting. He's got such fantastic variety in his game. Just a little backhand nudge to win that point. Again, really well played. He's mixing things up a lot better now, Ginting. Going for the smash and then a really tight net roll. Hio at full stretch there at the end, but it's just too close to get his no. racket on. Yo. Indonesian fans in the support, in the stands. Showing their support. Ginting just focusing. Play. Trying to stay calm. Taking it point by point. This is genius from Anthony Sinasuka Ginting. Stuff of the greatest shots that he can play. Just look at that, he's in the air. 17. Going for oh. 12. the play. kill. Oh. 
Liu Kuang Hee, on the other hand, so keeps it simple and finds the space on the court. 13 17. Just as important a point for him. Oh, it was lucky. But the net cord, but... 14, 17. Managed to roll the shuttle over. Ginting nowhere near it. As the Indonesian fans find their voice. Hinting. Again, tremendous so shot making from the Indonesian. 40. It's so good to see when Ginting finds his rhythm. Just brilliant to watch. He left it late, Hyo Kwang Hee, and he, there was no way Gintik was going to let that go. It's out. So Anthony Sinasuka Ginting, that's called in. Apologies. He left it, thinking it was out, but it was on the line. Oof, almost a split there from Hill. <laughs> Again, misjudgment from Hyo Kwang Hee proves costly. Leaving it late to take the shuttle, and Anthony Sinasuka Ginting has five game points to Level the scores here. Thank you. This has been a great turnaround, especially in the second half from Ginting. As he looks to close out the game and push for the decider. Right into the net goes Hyo Kwang Hee's backhand, which means Anthony Sinisuka Ginting takes the second game 21 15 to level the scores and push for the decider. Continuing with this rivalries tradition of three game matches, Careless mistake at the end from Kyo there. And Ginting, 22 minutes is what it's taken him to win the second. 21 <laughs>
game three in this thrilling match about to begin between Anthony Sinisuka Ginting and Hyuk Wang Hee, the first men's singles rubber in this Group A clash for top spot. Ginting coming back from a game down to win the second. And now it's level scores as we get the third underway. Ginting to serve. Exchanged ends, and this is the Ginting that this is the end that Ginting was struggling with in that first game. So, be interesting to see if he changes things up here. Kong-hee in a hurry there. Looking to intercept that shot, but it was such a tight net shot from Ginting that the shuttle had dropped in already. That was a full split from Ginting, but even out of position. He glides that shuttle with his backhand to find the line. Look, he was out of position there with that split, but he gets quickly back on his feet to find that backhand. That's impressive. Oh, just stretching himself out there a little bit. True love. Ginting leads. Oh! That's out. It was a long shot that so was giving him trouble in game one as well. One, two. The drift coming into play. He's playing with the drift. And that's... Not helping at the moment as Hyo Kwang he gets on board. We oh! had got a racket on that. And there you go, just getting a racket on that, and it was well in any ways. Very accurate hitting from Hyo. Oh, lovely. Three, two. Hyo Kwang Hee going cross court. Big hit. Okay. Thank you. And Kwang Hee too. Looking to take the advantage in this first half as much as possible. Oh, so quick, back on his feet. Rally. Oh, <laughs> and on the tightest Four, of net shots, Hyo Kwang Hee wins the point. Wow. So pretty much running all around the court, slipping, getting up. Hyo Kwang Hee still manages to find the winner. In his tight net roll. That's got to be the point of the mat so far, surely.
He is pumped up, Hyo Kwang He. Now a two point lead for the Korean. That's the second time Ginting has struggled with his net shot. The pressure is firmly upon him after Hill makes a good save with the drop. been a lot of slipping and sliding in this match so Quick which of course I'm sure has is a cause for worry sometimes for players fear of injuries and stuff so Hyo Kwang he just tightens his shoelaces and gets back on court now leading five to in this third, he's playing on the side that he did well in in the first game. So looking to take the advantage here before they change ends as Ginting goes wide again. Kwang He just staying in that Seven, point, two. keeping pace with his opponent, knowing that the pressure is slowly mounting on Ginting to do something here. And he's opened up a five point lead now, so this is exactly how he would have wanted the first half to go. Just try and get a big advantage, big enough to. Hold on to for the second half of this game. <laughs> That's a wild forehand. Service over. Three, seven. But these players so eager to get a win under their belt that the pressure at this stage will certainly start building. Ginting's body language just su suggesting that he's not feeling his game at the moment. His shoulders a bit slumped. Not as attacking as he was in that second game. drop shots from Ginting. But Hyo Kwang He gets Nine. one in of his own. Three. Just with his back to his opponent, Ginting would not know where that shuttle would be. <laughs> so Hyo Kwang He takes full advantage and goes cross net. really opened up a big lead here. Oh. 
It was a loose net shot to begin with from Ginting, allowing Hero to push him back. That one there. And kind of lost control of that point with that. So Hyo Kwang Hee takes an 11-3 lead in this first half as the players change ends. It is a big gap and exactly the way he would have wanted it, the Korean. As Ginting has a lot of work to do here to try and close an eight-point gap. This is going to get very intense when play resumes in the second half, but right now it's Hyo Kwang Hee up 11-3 after 13 minutes. The umpire asking the Korean coach to get back to his chairs. Play is about to resume in game three. 11 3. Play. Hyo Kwang Hee will serve to get this match underway. The challenge here for Ho is going to be that he's got to stay within the lines. And stay ahead as well. That's out again. So Anthony Sinasuka Ginting clawing back here in the third. Just forcing her to make those lifts floor, by playing those tight net shots. He's got a plan. He knows exactly how hard it is to control the shots on the other end, Ginting. So it's going to force her to make such mistakes. Play. It's a net, lovely net shot. Again. Oh. Sorry, over. He had all the time in the world. Hinting. Cross court. That is clinical. Still eight points ahead. We saw him Six, do that a couple of times in 13. the second game where he thought it was going out, but it was well within range. So Ginting needs to keep track, just trying to close the gap. Not worry too much about anything else. Good atmosphere in the stadium today with 
A lot of support for the players in action. Again, lovely cross spot smash Sorry, from over. Hill. 14, six. He's finding a lot of space on that court. Lovely net shot. Trying to go down the line, Sorry, but over. Seven, struggling 14. this time. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting just keeping up with his opponent, hoping that the pressure gets to him a little. Yo. on that. He was not quite happy, but Ginting maybe went over the net. But Cho Empire not blinking with that decision. Nine, Good serve 14. as well, keeping it low. And just five points now between the two. Can Ginting keep going? Oh, he slipped. Sorry, he's over. Oh. Things are not going his way at the moment. Thank you. Just, he knew where he wanted to go, but slipping badly. Must be frustrating. I think you're making up some ground and things don't work out. And Yu Kuang Yi, a picture of focus. He's looking for his first victory over Ginting. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Are you okay? The floors are scrubbed clean, making sure that it's as dry oh. as it possibly can be. Quick towel, Anthony. Wiping himself down. He slipped a few times. Actually, both players have. And 15, 9. It's important, especially for the next Play. few points that Stay on their feet. Sixteen nine. Hyo Kwang He making the most of a loose lift. Going for the smash. Line, it's called in. Korea and challenges. Call will challenge in. that. He certainly yelled like he won that point. It's a good decision from Hok Wang Hee because. That's Correction. Out. Out. And it helps him 
17, restore that nine. eight point lead that he had Play. as the game starts to get away from Ginting. Good reflexes from Anthony Sinisuka Ginting there. 17. Keeping up with the flood exchange. One the court, please. He desperately needs to win the next couple of points to stay in this game, Ginting. Thank you. Hyo Kwang Hee has made much better use of the drift. Oh, lovely smash. Straight well, down the line. 17. So effortless as well. It's gone out. Service over. Just out. 18, 12. The overhead shots have not worked out for Ginting today. This time from Ho. 13, 18. So five points separating the two. Play under pressure from Hyo Kwang Hee. Quick That's a great little drop. Two points away from victory now, the Korean. So the game getting out of Ginting's hand completely made a few errors again. 20, and Hyo Kwang Hee has just 13. made sure he stayed in it to set up seven match points here. Lovely. Service over. Just gently gliding the shuttle across the net. 14, Saved 20. one. He's got six more to save here.
He got it with the same cross court smash that has worked so well for him throughout this match. Hiro Kwang Hee defeats Anthony Sinisuke Ginting in three games March to secure his Korea. first win of the Thomas speed. Cup. 21-14. In Bangkok. Big win. See how much it means to him as well. Big sigh of relief to notch a victory. That too against the world number five. And Hyo Kwang Hee has put Korea ahead as a result. 21-16. 15-21, 21-14. In an hour and 12 minutes, Hyo Kwang Hee comes through for Korea. Up next, it's men's doubles that take center stage. Asan and Sukamulyo up against Kang and Seo. We're coming to you live from the Impact Arena here in Bangkok. Just north of the city is this 11,000 seater venue that is hosting the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Yuba Cups this year. We've just witnessed Korea take the lead against Indonesia in the men's singles. Ho Kwang Hee getting rid of Anthony Sinisuke Ginting in three. Up next, it's men's doubles. Asan Sukamulyo against Kang and Seo in the second match of this tie that's going to decide top spot in Group A. And, uh, this is going to be a very interesting match that comes on court one. We're seeing the pairing of Asan and Sukomulio, world number one and world number two respectively with their normal partners, their usual partners. Sukumulia with Gideon and Hassan with Satya One. Coming together for Indonesia to take on this fairly new pairing as well. Kang and Seo of Korea. And the world number 96 pair, Kang and Seo, have really 
made quite a mark on badminton already, having just come together this year. They recently won their first title together at the Korea Open. It's Seo Seung Jae and Kang Ming Hyuk. They're both been playing under the national flag for quite some time with different partners. But they've had a successful coming together as well in 2022. First meeting the red, the red. between the two. Red, yes. Red it is. This side, service of receive. Receive, who will serve? Hassan, and who will receive? Song. So, Asan and Sukumulio win the toss and they choose sides. They've chosen the near end of the court, which we've seen has been a cause of concern for many players these last few days. And they want to make sure that if the game goes to three, if the match goes to three, they want to be on the other side of the court. Seo Kang and Seo choosing to receive as Mohamed Hassan will serve to Seo. That was decided in that toss. But this is indeed a very interesting pairing. With Hassan and Suk Kamulio. Mohamed Hassan, 34 years of age, one half of the daddies from Palembang, Indonesia. There's no ranking here as they're just formed for this tournament, but ranked as high as number one in the world with his usual partner, Hendra Setiwan, who's in the stands. Captain Extraordinary. Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulya, 26 years of age, one of the most wonderful players to watch on the badminton court. He is ranked world number one currently with his usual partner, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, who's injured or recovering from surgery. This is the first time they'll be playing in the tournament as well, Asan and Sukumulyo, as Indonesia have, in the previous encounters, gone with their regular pairings. But it's an interesting choice they make against these guys of Korea. Seo Sung Jae, 24 years of age, again, very exciting player to watch, ranked 96 currently, but has gone up as high as number seven in the world with his former partner, Choi Sul Gyu, that was 2019. Kang Min Hyuk, 23 years of age. He too had an older partnership that was higher ranked in Kim Won Ho, born in Suwon, South Korea. Tall player at 183 centimeters. And him and Kim Won Ho were ranked 33 in the world at one point. But they really have been a very, very exciting pair to watch. Having won Ready both their matches so far against Thailand and Hong and uh, Singapore. The Singapore match going to three, but Seo and Kang coming through to win both so far. And they'll be looking to make it three in three against a relatively untested pair of Asan and Sukamolia. The umpire for the match is from Denmark, Jesper Hedem Larsen, and he'll be joined by Bert Van Hornbeek of Belgium in the service judges chair. As they get ready to serve, Mohamed Hassan will serve to Seo to get the match underway. And not since 2018 have we seen Asan and Sukumulio pair up. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on my right, Indonesia. That too was for a team Represented championship. Represented by Muhammad Asan, Kevin Sendaya Sukumulio. And on my left, Korea, represented by Kang Min Yuk and Seo Sanjay. Indonesia to surf, Muhammad Asan to Seo Sanjay. Level, play. Over. One. Quick exchange Stop. to put Korea on the scoreboard. And these are interesting tactics being used by Indonesia. 
to love. That's a good serve from Kang. Right down the middle. Hassan's return, that time not good enough. See you on the floor, but still finds the winner. For love. They've kept the points short. Kang and Seo and hit the ground running. And Asan and Sukumulio paired up in 2018 at the Asia Badminton Championships, team championships, because at that point, both their partners were either injured or recovering. And so they played two matches back in 2018, losing one and winning one. Lovely from Seo Seung J from the back of the court going for the drop. Made a dash for it, Sukumulio, because that was accurate hitting from Susan Jay. They've gone right on the line, and Sukumulio knew it, so he dashed for it, but it was a little too late. As Korea just made a flying start, six love up. And okay, so we've seen this Korean Mike. pair win the Korea Open just in April, and when they did that in the semi-finals and finals, they beat Indonesia, which is probably the reason behind this choice of pairing. One, six. Because at the Korea Open, Kang and Seo beat Asan and Sechi Wan in the semi-finals. And they beat Alfian and Ardianto in the final. So. I think Indonesia have decided instead of going for their regular pairs, who the Koreans have a better record against, they can try something different. But right now, it is Korea who is doing all the talking on court. Right down the middle. Great hit. Eight, one. They've certainly got a lot of thinking to do. Hassan and Sukamulia trying to figure a way past their opponents. When they played in 2018, they first lost to India's Rankaredi and Shetty in the group stages in three games. But then in the quarterfinals, Eight, they beat one. Japan's Kamura and Sonoda in two games. So, it's a 50-50 chance for these two play. Sukamulia. That's out. Korea attacking Sukamulio's backhand. Not giving him any chance there. 9 1 now. Service over. Good net shot from Sukamulia this time. 2 9. Keeping it tight. So they've pulled Three, a couple of points nine. back now.
Oh, that's tremendous. What a point. Thanks over. It's all attack from Korea. 10 3. Not giving the Indonesians any kind of chances. And. Good interception from Kevin Sanjaya Sukamulya there. Four, ten. Coming forward. And getting on that shuttle quickly. That's out as well. So they fooled a few points there. They were trailing one nine. There's still some. Service fault called. Too high. Service over. Service fault called on Sukamulya serve means Kang and Seo take an 11 5 lead in this fast paced first game. And Korea will be happy with that start. Seven minutes in, Kang and Seo up 11 5. Eleven five. Play. CSMJ will serve to resume game two, game one. Yeah. Oh. Over. Much better start from Six, Indonesia. see that the Indonesians are not giving the Koreans to attack too much, putting them on the defense. Lovely backhand from Kang. And again, 13, going for the steeper seven. angle there. That one there. Going for the downward smash on the backhand. The service error there means five points separating the two. These Korean pair. Korean challengers gone out. Have a tremendous record in 2022 before the Thomas Cup. 7-1. The last match being at the Korea Masters, where they got to the quarterfinals and then lost to Kim and Kim in two. And before that, the tournament they played, which was a Korea Open, they won. So the challenge. And it's just out. Wow, challenge look at that. One challenge remaining. So good call by the line judge. Nine, 13. And the Indonesians have narrowed this to four points. Play. Oh. 
13. So after a flying start, the Indonesians trailing by eight points at one point, at one start, at one moment. 11, 13. Made great inroads in this match, in this first game. That's wild. Brilliant serving, though, from Sukamulio. Seems like the tactic is starting to work for Indonesia. They've leveled the score here. After Kang Min Hyuk fails to get the shuttle across. For the first time in this game, Indonesia take the lead at 14-13. Korea's big, big lead vanished in a span of a few minutes. But Seo Sung Jae, who knows quite a lot about playing both Asan and Sukamulyo, will try and keep his bearings here. He and Choi Sol Yu have winning, had winning head-to-head -head records against both. 15, 14. Asan Sachewan and Sukamulya, Gideon Sukamulya. rally this <laughs> on the line 16 14 that is great hitting from team korea Control these points. 15, 16. Just putting Korea on the back foot a little bit as they scramble to make the shuttle. That is big hitting from the back court for. Seo Sung Jae, putting 15. all his might into that one. And going on both ends, really. So they just about stay ahead, Kang and Seo. He left that 16, and was 17. wise to do so, Mohamed Hassan.
a bow. You withstood everything that Indonesia threw at you. 18, 16. Gosh. Wait, coach. They were really having a go. But Kang Min Hyuk stood strong. A bit frustrated there, Sukamulio. Really gave it his all. That's excellent. Wow, that is pure vision. Just on the line. Indonesia challengers called in. Indonesia will challenge that. It was called in. Look just on the line. <laughs> they got it in by a cat's whisker. They just skimmed it, didn't they? That is tremendous. So Korea set up three game points in impressive fashion against. Hassan and Sukamulio. Service over. It was a bit late to that. 18, Kang. 20. Good serve from. Him as well, but. Sukumulia's return just rolling off. Game and it is Korea who one, take the Korea, lead 21, and draw first blood 21 18 in this first game. They started off really, really well. And then Indonesia fought back hard in that middle stages. Korea hang on with some impressive play to take a 21-18 win in that first game. It took them 18 minutes to do so. Yang yang kanan itu sebenarnya di depan itu kalau ditajakin menet ditaruh gitu kagok dia. Ya. Dia paling paling kalau kita duluin menet dia paling dorong maksain jagain aja setengahnya. Itu aja. Ya. Yang balik lagi, coba lagi. Servisnya udah tadi satu ketinggalan terlalu lambat. Ya oke oke. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. <laughs> Yes. Zero. 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 
Clare's back on court to resume the match. Game two about to get underway. Change Second of game. ends as well. Seo Sung Joe will serve to Sukumolia. Over. Good return Done. from Sukumuli at the net. A scramble there from Korea. As Indonesia did well to move the shuttle around. Indonesia challenges call in. And the shuttle looked like it was on the line, but Indonesia believe it wasn't. Yep, that is in, right challenge on the line. Successful. One challenge remaining. So Korea Service over. get One, on the scoreboard two. in the second game. Play. Where he would have wanted it. Kevin Su Sanjay Sukumulio staying strong defensively. Quick exchanges there between the two. two three. Just really. Okay. Being alert at the net. As we've Next seen four, before, two. Korea now struggling to control the shuttle a little bit. And this change of ends. And that seems to have five, two. upset their rhythm. Defending. Look at that. But that time it goes long. Service over. Three, five. It's Sukumulio. So alert with most of those shots. Defending really well, but miss hit that at the end.
fine. Clash of rackets on Korea. Service over. Six, three, change. And Indonesia now open up an important three-point lead here. As Korea struggle to find the kind of start they had in that first game. Korea the challenge it. Called in. It's called in. Was a good challenge out. from Service over for six. Korea. Wait, they six. Close the gap back to four point to two points. Oh, lovely. Kang, Hing Mo, Kang Min Hyuk dropping the shuttle just in front of Sukumulya. Making him crack back a little. Look at that big jump. And right in front of his opponent. Five, six. Needed to change his racket. Big powerful hit that. Service over. Net roll. Seven five. Not going in Kang's favor. As Indonesia stay on top. That is Eight, aggressive five. play from Indonesia. Oh. Lovely drop shot from Mohamed Hassan. Nine, five. It's the gentlest of touches. Called out and in the new challenge, that was a close one, I'd say. This from where I'm sitting, it looked a little, it looked in. Challenge and successful. No good call from line that it is out. And Service Indonesia are uh, six out of nine. challenges. Play. A lovely return. Right in the corner. Service over. Ten, six. Tremendous vision from Sukamulya there. Accurate with their shot making, Indonesia. That gives them the 11 6 lead in the second game. Five points ahead. It has been so skillful from the Indonesians. It's 
precision from Asan. So, Indonesia up 11-6 after 12 minutes in the second game. Sukumulya will serve. Oh, despite that cheeky 12, return from Kang, Sukumulya all over that point. Serve is over. Seven twelve. But Zero. Korea okay. have. Pulled one back. This is good stuff from Indonesia, but Asan eight twelve. Just going wide there. Sukumula did so well to cover the court. Service over. Good return. 13, Again, Sukumulio. Impressive at the net. How did he get that? Oh my gosh. Oh, it was on the line as well. Wow. That is supreme play from Indonesia. Just on the line. <laughs> and you can see Hassan happy with that. Indonesia now in a commanding lead. Service over. And Korea Nine, pressing 14. on, looking to stay in this game. Good focus from Korea. The switching from attack to defense has been fantastic in this rally, but it is Seo Sung Jae who goes for the kill on the move that too. They switched it around, didn't they? First on the defense, then on the attack, and Seo Sung Jae. Finishing off the point. So four points difference now. Service over. Great return from Mohamed Hassan. 15, 10. At a crucial juncture in the game. Service over. 
Seo Sung Jae. 11-15. Finding the gap really well there. Hassan on the attack, this time from 16, the back court. 11. Straight at Kang's forehand. That's another great deceptive drop shot. Sukamulio. Being so. Good with the shot making. Surely a matter of losing focus for one of them. And it was Kang and Seo who succumbed in the end. 17 11. And it's six points now for the pairing of Asan and Sukamulio. As they take command of the second game, looking for a third. Thank you. And their first outing in the Thomas Cup. Strategy working out for Indonesia in this world number one and two combination. So much men's doubles experience between the two. 17 11. And of course, Harry Iman, the coach. Service over. 12, but 17. Kang and Seo have remained undeterred. Service over. Oh, that's a lucky 18, net roll. 12. As they are now just three points away from securing this second game. Great reflexes from Sukamulio. He's 19, so quick at the net 12. as well. playing the patient game waiting for the mistakes but that time was about finding the gap 20 game point as 12. both players came onto one side Sukmolio gliding the shuttle into the open Out. court service over so 13 20. still have seven game points from Sukamulia to seal Indonesia. that second 21, game. 21-13. He's really found the spaces so well in this match. And it has been fantastic to watch. The second game as Indonesia seal it 21-13.
소재하고 하다가 안 되면 여러분 들어가고 또 다시 소재. 이거는 우리는 가지고 있는 게 좋아. 힘들더라도. 이거 가지고 있다. 이거 하다가 가다 올려버리고. 너도 하다가 그냥 올려버리고. 돌려주고. 아. 너도 넘기고. 네가 하다가 가다 너도 돌려주고. 너한테 넘기고. 응? 때리면 때리다가 반대쪽 거면 같이 또 들어가지고. 같이 봐주고. 그렇게 잡아야 되는 거야. 응? 그래서 주면 안 돼. 이거 좀 뛰어줘야 돼. 한번 더 가더라도. 응? 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 Well, we're about to start the Final third game. and deciding game. Level. Play. Players change ends once more. Service for Kong, too high. Service. Service over. Error from Sukamulya there it was too high. Characteristic error from Sukumuli at the net. Normally he's so precise in the front court. Service over. And Indonesia One, get on two. the scoreboard after that quick exchange of the net between the two pairs. You can see that the Indonesians have a much better understanding of their opponents now, anticipating them really well as compared to that first game. of rackets again and Mohamed Hassan this time three two with the attacking play it really has worked out well for them in the last game and now in the third as well They're much more in control of the points that is precise hitting from Sukamulio. Four, two. can feel the tension as the intensity increases both pairs going for the win again Mamadasan attacking the backhand of Kang Min Hyuk Moving the shuttle around so well. Thank you.
And they've really gotten on top of things now. Asan and Sukamulio moving their opponents around. Six, three. To dominate the points. Sukamulio with a big hit there. Service over. Full six. Oh, good serve from Korea, pushing Sukumulio back. It's one point separating the two. Tremendous pressure from Indonesia. Full alert. As they try and stay ahead of this third game. Anyone's game here. Seven, five. <laughs> Service over. Six, seven. Attack again, Mohamed Hassan. From the back, then coming forward. That is lovely Seven from Kang Min Hyuk. He charged on. Seven, eight. Anticipating that really well. Is a cheeky Eight, shot. Four. It's completely taking the pace out of that rally with that drop. And it's level scores now. That hard, isn't he? Sir Sung J. Nine, eight. Covering the back court. He is pounding that down. Flight. Great serve, right on the line. Hassan, challenge? Yeah, okay. Okay. In an easy Hassan gone in. has decided to challenge it. And he must be clearly certain that it was not in. Challenge unsuccessful. On the line. One challenge remaining. They've not been very good with the challenges in this match, Indonesia. Ten. But eight. Thank you. 
they've done well to just make sure they're Play. in this third game. Afterwards, when they change ends, going to their preferred end. Oh, lovely. What a lob from Kang Min Hyuk. He has had some excellent shots at the net. It's going behind Sukamulio. And Korea take the lead with that. 11 8 at the mid game break, as they will change ends as well here in the decider. Which could prove to be interesting for both pairs. 12 minutes in, Korea up 11 8. We saw Indonesia take charge on that end of the court in the second game. Right now, they trail by three. Can they turn things around? Just out. Service over. Nine, 11. Korea have to be careful here with their lines. Service over. 12, nine. We need to maintain this lead for as much as possible. They've kept it short, they've kept it quick, and they've kept it precise. from Kang. They had a slip there. Oh. Oh. Service over. Indonesia not Ten, letting up 13. there. On the line. Service over. This time getting it 14, right. 10. Oh, lovely drop shot. This is intense from Kevin Sukumulio. Oh, brilliant attack at the end there from Indonesia. Eleven, fourteen. After absorbing a lot of the Korean shots, Indonesia turned it around. Brilliant, so right so down up. the middle. 15, 11. Wow. He's 
smacked it hard. And on the third time, he went in between his opponents. Again, Kang Min here 16, finding the gaps. Going behind Sukamulya, who was squatted down. But I found it very hard to move at that point. This is good interception from Seo. <laughs> They've done everything in their power to try and stay in that point, Indonesia, but 31 shots in and Korea 17, 11. have made quite the dent in this third game. Ho oh, ho ho. This is Really fantastic to watch. Service over twelve seventeen. From Kang. Unbelievable. 18, 12. How did he manage that? He really has been excellent at the net in this third game. And they're just three points away from victory here, Korea. Again, down the middle. This time 19, it was Sir Jay. They have upped the ante here. The Koreans. Taking it to another level. And it certainly seems like they've have a very good understanding of the Indonesian game. That's out, and it's eight match points for Kang and Seo. 20-12 up. Having dropped the second game, this is quite the turnaround. Hard-fought battle. In the third, really tremendous. Both Kang in the front and Match Seo at the back of the court. Korea, 21, dominating 18, the Indonesians 13, in that third 21, game 21, to secure 12. it. In three, 21 18, 13 21, 21 12. And flat exchange at the end there. So Sukmulya drive it straight into the net. But what a performance for Korea. Kang and Seo giving them a 2-0 lead after 59 minutes on court.
We're coming to you live from the Impact Arena in Bangkok, Thailand, for the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Yuba Cups. We've got Thomas Cup action coming to you right now from Court 1. Group A clash between Korea and Indonesia. And Korea now up 2-0 against the defending champions. We saw Hyo Kwang Hee give them the 1-0 head. Bit, uh, beating Anthony Sinsuka Ginting in three, and then Asan and Sukamulya losing out to Kang and Seo means it's time for the second men's singles rubber. It's between Shazar Hiren Rustavito and Jeon Hyok Jin. That's what's coming up on court one. Battle of the number two men's singles players. In today's Thomas Cup clash, we have Rustavito walking on court, the 28-year-old who's been in action in this Thomas Cup already. Normally comes in at number three in the third men's single, but Indonesia have decided to give Jonathan Christie a rest, opting for Shazar to come in at number two. Jeon Hyuk Jin, he's been coming in at number two for some time now. He is 26 years old and is on the rise, having come back onto the tour this year after recovering from an injury. It's a fantastic comeback story of the Korean. You choose red or black. Black for you. You want the toss? Yes, sir. Want to serve or receive? Receive. So, Shazar wins the toss, opting sides, choosing the nearer end of the court, whereas John Hyuk Jin has chosen to receive in, an, in a match that will hopefully give him the opportunity to seal victory for Korea in this tie. And Indonesia have a fantastic record against Korea in the Thomas Cup. 11 to head overall, head to head record. Korea's only win over them coming back in 2008. So this is an opportunity for Korea to get a second victory. Shazar Hiren Rustavito is gonna try and stop that from happening. Ranked 24th in the world at the moment. It's reached as high as 17. And his win-loss record this year before the Thomas Cup was 3-5. to five. Hoping to change that into a positive, into the green after this tournament. I mentioned he's already been in action for Indonesia. Beating Joel Ko of Singapore in straight games, 21-16, 21-7. And then also Sitikom Tamasin of Thailand in straight games, 21-19, 21-14. So smooth sailing so far for Rustavito. He's up against a very intriguing player in Jeon Hyuk Jin, 26 years of age, currently ranked 270, but he has reached as high as 17 in the world. That was back in 2018 from Ulsan, South Korea. And really has only started playing this year after a long injury layoff. He too has had two wins out of two so far, beating Kantapon Wang Charoan in straight games in the first round, and then Jason Tay in three in a 78-minute battle in the second round that was against Singapore. John Hyuk Jin will be looking to make it three out of three as well. Satyawan Mahadu of Mauritius is the chair umpire, and he'll be joined by Jin Lunti Fundal as the service judge to officiating this match. But John Hyuk Jin had to withdraw from the tour with a right leg injury, which pretty much saw the power of his right leg become non existent. And for a long time, he couldn't find anyone to treat it. 
We couldn't solve the problem until recently Ladies when he found a doctor to treat his right leg and now he's back on tour. What a fantastic story that is. We are very happy to see him back on and court. On my left, Korea represented by John Hyop Jen. Indonesia to serve love all play. Confident start from Shazar. One love. Over. And one. The two players oh. have met before, twice in fact. But that was back in 2015, seven years ago, where John Hyuk Jin won both those matches. Wonderful. Both players have come a long way since. Shazar Rustavito, of course, now so Thomas Cup champion. Two, one. Thank you. Change the shot. A big smash. Going cross court. From Rooster Vito. Three, one. As Jian Hook Jin tries to find his rhythm a little bit. Been an impressive attacking start from Rooster Vito going for those cross court smashes quite frequently. Five, one. And John Hook Jin, when he played Shazar last in 2015, was at the Thailand Open in Bangkok. That was their last meeting, round of 32, where John won in straight games. 21-5, 21-17, and then they also met at the Vietnam Open in 2015. John winning 21-19, 21-11 there. So straight games victory is what John had previously. It'll be interesting to see whether he can repeat the same feat here because right now it is Rooster Vito Seven. who has One. taken charge. Service over. Attacking play from Gion. The Rooster Vito has Eight, been two. very calm as he goes about his business. From the Indonesian. Three, eight. 
who is still looking for his first title of the year. The last match was at the Badminton Asia Championships where he exited at the round of 16 to Lee Zijia in two games in 2022. Rustavito's best performance has come at the quarterfinal of the Korea Open. Four, eight. Jeon Hyunjik also played in Korea, eventually winning the Korea Masters for his first title in five years. Five. An amazing comeback story for the 26 year old. Concentration from Jian Hyuk Jin. Just stayed with his opponent throughout the rally. So, John has reduced that gap to three points. <laughs> Just going out there as well. Six, eight. And missing out on those lines a little bit. Errors from Rooster Vita that gives Jian Hyuk Jin the lead for the first time in this game. And he's done well to just stay focused. That was a very, very high Solar. lift from Jion. Nine, seven. Play from Rustavito. Jin doing well Nine. at Ten the net short. there. 43 short rally that. Some long exchanges between the two Five men. John hasn't played Thank you. In, on the tour and with Korea for some time. He was part of the Korean ball? team back in 2017 when they won the gold medal in the Sudaman Cup. And also in 2016 in the Thomas Cup when Korea won the bronze. This is young Shuttler. He was part of that Korean setup six years ago. 
And we must be really glad to have him back. As you see him level the scores in this first game. Slowly finding his way. Well in. So it's over. Right on the corner, in fact. Ten, nine. And Shazar Hirain Ristovito does well to just stay ahead in this first game. <laughs> Playing in these conditions really well. Long rally. It's out. So, John Hyuk Jin just so Ten, all. gently applying pressure on Shazar after another long rally between the two. Testing his stamina there. 41 shots again. That one. Just in. Just between the tram lines there. Double. John Hyuk Jin takes the lead. 11 10 at the break. Very patient play from the younger Korean. And he'll be happy to be ahead at the interval. Code one, 20 seconds. Code one, 20 seconds. Coaches, return to your chairs. Coach, return to your chair. Coach, players on court. Session, back on court. Players back on court to resume game one. 11 10. John Hyuk Jin will serve. Shazar Hirain Rustavija doing what he does best. And that is going for his smashes. Going straight down the line that time. He is a power player. Does that really well. So effortless with that movement. 12, Rustavito. Alert at the net as well.
good save. Serve is over. And Jian Hyuk Jin. All. Really focused in that point. He's coming out on top of the longer rallies. Thank you. Players, back on top, thank you. Session, back on top. It's 12 ah. all. Very, very close match, ball. this. Another long rally as John Hyuk Jin tries to get on top of his opponent. Oh, brilliant. That is excellent from Shazar Rustavito. First going for the drop and then drop them, which made it very hard to play. Following it up with a down the line smash. That really is. Superb badminton. Thank you. In Indonesia, looking to keep this tie alive yeah. with victory here. As I mentioned, they have a tremendous head to head record against Korea 11 to 1. Korea winning the one time in 2018 where they beat Indonesia in the semi finals for losing to China 3 1 in the final. In the group stages, these two have played five times. And Indonesia have won all the first three ties, winning 4-1, and the last two winning 3-2. So still possible here to do either of those score by either of those score lines. Well, not 4-1, but 3-2 for sure. That's in. Lovely placement from John Hyuk Jin. Service over, 13, all. Last time Korea and Indonesia met was in Bangkok in the group stages. It was a Group B clash at that time. Indonesia won that 3-2. So is that a sign of how things will be here? They'd have to mount quite the challenge. They certainly have the quality in their side to do it. 14, 13, change the Warning the players that they're delaying it too much. Need to keep going. Of course, it's been a very, very tight match, which I'm sure has taken a lot out of these two physically. Long rallies as well. Such has been their playing style. The umpire wants them to get on with it. That 
was a wild One backhand. Bruce Savito had slipped at the net there. Service over. And that would have been the perfect opportunity for Gion to try and get a point in, but Bruce Savito glad that Can you show, please? he could get back on level terms. has been slippery all. for this tie with so Ginting and Hill slip a fair bit. It's been warm, warmer at least, but that is really well played from Rusevito. Cross net shot, just gently gliding it. That gives him the lead again. John Hill Jin is 15. right there with his oh. opponent. Mixing it up. That's out. So, 16. lots of concentration 15. there from Rustavito, who has been otherwise really good with his winners. That was a good exchange, really quick from John Hyuk Jin. 17, 15, He's faster at the net. And he takes a two-point lead here at the latter stages off the first game. That is on the attack from Shasar Hurin Rustavio. He goes all 16. out in trying 17. to close the gap. Another long rally and beautiful from Russo Vito. Impeccable net play. Look at that. He just nudges it again across the court, right at the edge of it. That's superb play. 17 points apiece. Here in Rustavito takes a crucial lead when it matters the most. Three points away from victory. Albeit it's a one point game between these two. Of mistake Quick towel on me. for Rustavito. Quick towel on me. 
the umpire quite strict with the players in terms of getting the play started again. 18 all. It's 18 all. And so little differentiating these two. Pinpoint placement, isn't it, from John Hyuk Jin? Even with the hey, backhand hey. earlier. Goes right on the line. And so accurate with his shot making. John Hyuk Jin. Vito, which means John Hyuk Jin has two game points here. In a very, very close fight. On court, John. And they... John, you want to change the shot on? Play on. Looking to get this done on the first time of asking. That is good stuff from Bruce DeVito. Made some really good net shots before setting up the smash. So that's one game point saved. Change it. And just taking the time here. Every point counts. Mr. Vito. Desperate to even the score here, but game. it is John Hyuk Jin who seals it. First game won by 21 19. 19. Very, very close. The drive from John making the difference there. But it really has been too close to call for most of that first game. And John Hyuk Jin. Giving Korea the edge there in 26 minutes. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game, 
Level left. One love. So it's one all. So it's over. And Two, it's a good start one. from. So we've picked up all. where we've started in the first game. Two points apiece and really too close to call. Tight. So it's over. Three. John have Jim. Just making the impeccable net shot there. He hit that hard, didn't he? Bruce DeVito so going so down the line. Four, three. And uh, he's trying very hard to stay ahead in this second game, having dropped the first. Must win for Rooster Vida this one. It's a great exchange, but it is Rooster Vida who comes out on top. Six, three. John Hugh Jin so it's over. using his attack Four, to six. find the gaps, moving his opponent around. Out. So, so it's over. John now Seven. Four. making some errors on the near end of the court. Eight. Four. Yes. 
opens up a four point lead. And Rustavito is controlling things at the moment. Nine, four. Lovely again, brilliant return. Ten, four. It's just out. So very seven, close. Five, ten. Oh, brilliant. Six, Great ten, flick of the wrist one, from Ejeon as he goes across the court. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. Players on board. Mr. Vito is still up by four. to Six, stay ahead as we get into that mid-game break. of net shots means it is Rustavito who takes the lead 11-6 at the mid-game breaker in the second game. Five-point comfortable lead for Rustavito. Lovely net shot there. Jun had no choice but to go for it. Touching the net en route. But it is Rustavito in charge in the second game after 10 minutes. For one, 20 seconds. For one, 20 seconds. Coach, return to your chair. Players back on top. Chair in shuttle. The players back on court as Rustavito will serve to resume game two, where he has taken a big lead. Looking to even the score lines. So it's over. Seven, 11. Serve going out, unfortunately, as Gion struggles to control the shuttle. The Rustavito has been using his attack really well in this game. It's out again. Seven points ahead now. Bruce Vito in the second game. So, Jeon Yuk Jin is obviously struggling with the drift. As the 
Gutierrez are creeping a lot more into his game at the moment. That's out. That's rushed from John. 16, 7. And Rustavito just keeps the scoreboard ticking. That's out as well. No Seven answers eight. right now for John Hyuk Jin. Excellent net shot there from John. Ristavita this time, right at the net, going for the kill. So over. 18. Lifting to push his opponent back before smashing the shuttle down. Again, this has been a tremendous play from Ristavito. Both at the front court and then also from the back. He's mixed it up really well, showing plenty of variety in his game. Jeon Hyuk Jin game point is facing eight. 12 game points in this second game. Rusevita rushing through this. And again, Game. The return going long means it is Shusar Hiren Rustavito who evens the scoreline, winning the second 21-8 and making it a game apiece. It has been a very good comeback by Indonesia as they take the lead, as they even the scoreline after 32 minutes. Oh! <laughs> Code one, twenty seconds. Code one, twenty seconds. And just like the previous two matches in the sty, we go into a third game in this men's singles matchup between Shasar Rustavito and Jeon Hyuk Jin. Rustavito coming Final back game. strong in the second. Level. And Black. will serve to start the third. It's called out. Korea and challenges. immediately Jeon Hyuk Jin out. challenges. The right call gone out. Successful. So one challenge remaining. John only has one challenge in this third game. 
It's still very early in the game, but Bruce DeVito now playing with great confidence. Thank you. He was in complete control of that. Love. He really was anticipating his opponent really well, giving him the chase there and setting up that smash. So Rustavito is on Love. a roll. So, with that error from Ricevito, Gion is on the scoreboard in this third game. So, it's over. Five, one. He is struggling a little bit. John Hook Jin. Exchange between Six, the two, but one. Shasar just keeps up and puts the pressure back on his opponent. Again, on the line. Rustavito going for the smash down the line and was successful with it as well. One. Stamina and Shazar has kept pace and kept focus throughout these long rallies in an impressive fashion. And this time, though, Jian Hyuk Jin. To make short eight. work of his opponent. Still Thank you. a long gap Thank you. between the two, a big gap for John to Make up as Rustavito 
Jordan. certainly turned this match around in his favor. He's been an important part of Indonesia's plan for the Thomas Cup, both in Aarhus and also here. Got them out of jail a couple of times in Aarhus and looks to do so in this tie as well. John Hyuk Jin Four, is doing his best to mount the challenge. Closing off that point very quickly at the net. Hit from Five, John. Eight. He was trailing by six at one point at two eight. Got on a three point run at the moment, which is an important one as well. This bump from Rustavito as he goes down his favorite smash. S straight down. Finding the lines. Rally. That is a big, big point Ten, for Rusevito. Who was pushed to the brink there and came up with the goods in the end. But it is Rustavito who takes the lead. At the mid-game break, 11-5. Taken charge of this game. Despite his opponent's best efforts. And Mr. Vito will be happy to be six points ahead as they change ends. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, back to your chair. Coach, back to your chair. John, on board. Savito looking to close out this so it's over. game. Six, 11.
having chain sides. He's on his preferred end. So it's over. 12, 6. Rustavito. We saw him in the second game come back really strong, keeping his point shots, mixing things up, and he's doing more of the same here. Four, eight, six. Stay in that point, Rusevito, but John was full attack Seven. there. But look at that, Four he split eight. and was back on his feet to make the next one. It's too late at the end, though. A great effort from Rusevito. Thank you. Thank you. Still a seven point game here. Lovely, brilliant net play Eight, from John that time. Still a long way to go for the Korean. Some fabulous exchanges in this match. <laughs> Shazar on the chase. Nine, but he made it as well. But just couldn't find the right shot. Made a mad dash to get to it in the first place. We've seen some fabulous exchanges between the two players. Some intense rallying. Neither of them letting to letting go of those points easily. Nine fourteen. Big yell from Rusevito as we get into this latter stages of this game. Just needs to keep his focus here for a few more points to give Indonesia a way back in.
Fault. Fault call. There's Lushavito apologizes 16, for that. Nine. For that really tight net roll there. Seven points ahead. So Make that six Ten, after that 16. smash went out. for that one. So over. Bruce DeVito. 17. Well anticipated 10. from the Indonesian. John was really tight with that net shot, but look at that. Brilliant. He has been so solid for Indonesia, Ristavito. And Two points away now Ten. from sealing victory here. Again, a couple Don't of do. errors at the net, March and it's point. 10 match Ten. points for Rooster Vito. Will he convert on the first time of asking? And on that Game. forehand going wide, Rooster Vito stays focused throughout to make sure that he pulls one back for Indonesia in a hard shot. Three game win. 21 8. 21-10. Rusevito just playing the shuttle along and forcing the error off his opponent. John Hyuk Jin not being able to stage any kind of comeback in that third game especially. So Rusevito wins 19-21, 21-8, 21-10 in an hour and three minutes. Up next, it's men's doubles, Alfian Ardianto against Jin and now of Korea.
We're coming to you live from the Impact Arena. It's day four of the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cups 2022. Group stage action ongoing here on court one in the Thomas Cup between Indonesia and Korea in Group A. As Korea lead 2-1 after Shazar Hiren Rustavita pulled one back with his three-game win over John Hyuk Jin. So we're into the second men's doubles rubber between Alfian Ardianto of Indonesia and Jin and Na of Korea. That's what's coming up. The world number eights against the world number 216. Korea. The change coming from Korea, opting for the young Jin and Na ahead of their usual number two pair and Choi and Kim, from Belgium. who've been Service playing in their previous two matches. From Denmark. But it is Alfian and Ardianto who will be charged with leveling the score lines here. A much higher ranked Indonesian pair, Fajar Alfian and Mamadrian Ardianto, who have been in action throughout this Thomas Cup already playing in their third match. In comparison, Jin and Na are playing in their first match of the tournament, making their Thomas Cup debut. The players get on court to get ready for the toss. First meeting between the two pairs. Hello, gentlemen. I have black or red. Red. It is red. Farian, you serve. They serve. You receive. Yes. That side. Okay. So, Indonesia winning the toss, choosing to serve. Fajar Alfian will serve. And uh, Korea choosing sides as a result. And they stay on the far end of the court, which is an interesting decision because everyone who's won the toss and chosen sides has chosen the near end to begin their match with. Fajar Alfian, 27 years of age, ranked seventh in the world from Bandung, Indonesia. He's gone up as high as five with his current partner, Mohamed Rian Ardianto. And, uh, Two have a win-loss record of 13-4 this year before the Thomas Cup. There he is, Mohamed Rianadi 26 years of age, from Bantul, Indonesia. And their last match together was at the Badminton Asia Championships just a couple of weeks back in Manila, where they lost out in the semi-finals to teammates. But in this tournament, they've played against Singapore, Pushed to three games against He and Low, 21 14, 19 21, 21 12. They were not selected against Thailand. Whereas for Na Sun Seung, he's 22 years of age from Gwangju, South Korea, ranked 246 in the world. Highest rank, of course, has been 43 with a former partner in Wang Chan. He's only been partnered up in 2022 with this man here, Jin Yong, who's just 19, teenager from Seoul, South Korea. And these two have reached as high as 235 before. This is a big challenge taking on the Indonesians. They have not been selected, as I mentioned, in this tournament so far, so they're making their Thomas Cup debut. They certainly have their work cut out for themselves. The umpire and for this match in the chair is Bert van Horenbeck from Belgium. All smiles alongside the service judge, Jesper Hadam Larsen of Denmark. But this is going to be very, very interesting to see how the young Koreans meet the challenge. There is an unknown factor about them, of course. 
But still, world number eight is a different ball game altogether. And it's an interesting choice for Korea to leave out Choi Sol Gyu and Kim Won Ho, who have so far won in straight games for them in this gentlemen. tournament against Singapore and Thailand. Yes. Let's get ready to get this match going. Fajar Alfian will serve to Jin. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Indonesia, represented by Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto. And on my left, Korea, represented by Yung Jin and Na Sung Shung. Indonesia to serve, Fajar Alfian to Young Jin, Lovell, Blake. Serves over, one love. So Korea on the mark. One oh. Early, early days. <laughs> Straight on the attack. Serves over. This time, Na. Two, one. Challenging at the net. Maybe it is the unknown factor that they're counting on. Korea. Alfian and Ardian to not knowing what to expect in this match. Kept the cards close. Korea. That's big hitting from Jin at the back court. Very aggressive from Korea at the start. Four, one. Blocks running, haven't they? The young Koreans. But the experience of Alfia and Nardianto will matter here. Just buy their time to learn more about their opponents. Big yells from the Koreans. They're all pumped up. Just one match away from securing this tie, Korea. They've won all their matches 3 2. Dropping two, winning three. Narrow wins in Group A. Will that be the same here? Is the question. Observer. Three, six. Oh. Four, six. So just like that, Alfin and Ardianto have found their way back. Six, six all. all. At one point, they were two six down. And this is the quality of the 
world number eight, who also are in some tremendous form in 2022. One, the Swiss Open, and then runner-up at the Korea Open. They've been peaking at the right time. Whereas newly formed pairing of Jin and Na have a 5-2 record. Played at the Korea Masters up until the round of 32, losing to Choi and Kim. Also played the Korea Open and got to the quarterfinals, where they lost to Fikri and Maulana, the other Indonesian pairing in this Thomas Cup team for Indonesia in the squad. They lost to Fikri and Maulana 20 to 20, 21 18. So they did give them a run for their money, but Eight, six. Alfian and Ardianto much better. Pair, who have been part of Indonesia's Thomas Cup squad for some time. 2019 bronze medalist at the World Championships as well. Seven, doing eight. well to keep that attack going. Superb at the net. Zero, zero, five. Nine, seven. It was really well intercepted. Drop shot this time from Na Sung Seung. Eight, nine. From the back of the court, that too. Going for that deceptive drop. The young Koreans doing well here. Following it up with a great serve as well. Going behind their opponents. to get used to the drift again. Oh. So it's been neck and neck. Fajar Alfian doing the damage there. Ten points apiece in this first game. So, 11, 10, interval. so great serve from Indonesia means they take the lead 11, 10 at the break. Alfian and Ardianto, it's just on the line. <laughs> Look at Na staring down at the shuttle. And uh, it is Indonesia who stay ahead by a point after eight minutes in the second men's doubles rubber. <laughs> One, 
20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Back on court. Play. As Ardiento will serve to resume game one. Not the serve he would have wanted. This is impressive hitting by Indonesia. Alfian following it up with the net roll at the end, but it was the big smashes that set it all up. And so Indonesia is just staying ahead at the moment. That would be the plan, given that they will change ends for the next game. So they can seal this one. It's likely that they will win this in two. It's good defending, but... Jin and now persistent with their attacking play. Oh. On the line there. Yes. 13 well. Korea take the lead now. His points have been very short as both pairs try to keep it a close one. Not get pushed into long rallies. They like to kill off the points. Some big yelling from 14, Korea at the 13. moment as they <laughs> just keep their wits about them. And a two point lead in the first game, an important time in the game as well to be ahead for Korea. Fajar oh. Alfian and Mohamed Ardianto unfazed by their opponents, just keep to their game. It's a lovely shot from Ardianto there. Good attacking play from Korea, who stayed alert throughout the point when Indonesia tried to control it with their drops, but then changed it into an attacking move. Those last two shots. Great return. Alfian tracking back a little 15, bit to 16. get the angle on that smash. Uh -huh. It really has been quick going this first game. Good 
defending from Korea. <laughs> On the floor is Jin Yong. As Alfian and Ardianto just keep it going with the attack. Unrelenting is what they are. 16 points apiece. It's quite mature play from the young Koreans who have withstood the pressure well here. And it's tit for tat at the moment. 17 all. Jin Young has 18, been right on top of things in this first game. He's been tremendous from both the front and the back of the court. But they really are just taking turns, aren't they? Oh, what a smash that is! Mama Rian Ardianto giving it his all. Cross the court. Power smash, that is. Service over. 19 all. And Alfian and Adianto are being pushed here by the very young Koreans who have only recently been part of the team events, Badminton Asia Championships, the team championships earlier this year, where Korea won the bronze, they were part of that. But what an addition they will make as they play at the higher levels. This has been Promising start. And they have set up game point against the world number eight. Would you believe that this young Korean pair have kept toe to toe with their opponents? Not let anything go here. Just look at the focus. Oh, beautiful. Fajar Alfian finding the one spot on the court that Korea was not covering at 20 all. Going around the head with the Drop shot. And despite Nas' best efforts, that shot was too good from Alfian. 20 all. Ha <laughs> ha! 
right between the two is where the shuttle falls. That's second game point now for Na and Jin. Big yells with every point. Can they do it this time round? Quick on his feet, but Alfian ever so strong at the net. 21 all. Just keeping the cool here, Alfian Radianto. Lovely drop shot to set up game point from Alfian this time. Not giving them any chance there, really. 22, 21. Beautiful deception from Fajar Alfian. Both trying their best to go for that, but it's a bit too late. So it's game point now for Indonesia. First one in this game for the world number eights. Will they convert? Game. And it is Indonesia that take First the all important lead. 23-21 in this first game. Lovely serve, look at that, so low. And really no chance for Korea there. Just great net game from both the Indonesian players. Means it is Indonesia who've taken the lead after 21 minutes. Court one, twenty seconds, court one, twenty seconds. Into game two we go as the players change ends. Indonesia with an all important lead at 23 21. Level play. And straight away. One low. Indonesia take charge. Clash of rackets, but Indonesia absorbing all that attack. Too low. And just cool under pressure, Alfian and Ardianto, who saved two game points in that first game to then convert 
on the first opportunity and they've taken a two love lead here but big match experience of Alfian and Adianto will matter here Again, with a clash of rackets. Impeccable defending from the Indonesians. Just taking the pace off the rally. This is probably the longest rally we've seen in this match. And in the end, it is Korea who give in having Three tried their utmost low. to have a go at their opponents. Okay. But Indonesia have been stoic in the defense. Oh. Seven, this seven, time one. they get it right. One, three. Mixing up their shots. First with that drop. And then hitting hard on Ardianto's backhand. Unfortunately, far from the kind of serve Alfian was looking for, so Korea right back in it. And that's how it's done. Three, Korean four. serve trying to go over their opponents, stretching them out to make the mistake. Again, good defending. Korea and just attack all out. They keep having a go at the Indonesians, using their power, trying to outmuscle their opponents. saw in that first game the Indonesians were just keeping up with their opponents for much of it and then carved out a win Five, out of nowhere four. staying in that game So quick at the net, the Koreans, and trying to really drive at the opponents. And Alfian and Ardianto know that a win here just puts everything on level playing field right so a win here would make it two all and then put the pressure back on korea who've been enjoying a two match advantage for some time now oh. 
Good serve. Six, five. From Korea, but Indonesia equally good in their return. Oh. He really got into that one, Ardianto. Koreans are Seven. staying in the game by just making sure that they keep the gap small, keep closing in every time the Indonesians take Seven. a lead. But that again, great return that time from Seven. Alfian. So every time Indonesia opens up a gap, Korea's just, Koreans just pull it back to stay within touching distance. This time it is Indonesia who tries to attack their opponents. Korea, stay strong. Good rotation between the Koreans. Good movement as well. Just taking turns to hammer down the shuttle. really become a power game here between two very strong agile men's doubles pair complete contrast from the game we saw just before this men's singles and so as we edge towards that mid-game break it is Korea who are just ahead. <laughs> Who's lucky there? Oh, on the line. That was clever Ten placement four. from Alfian. He saw that gap. <laughs> and so Indonesia are the ones who take the lead in the second game.
just by a point, exactly like how it was in that first game. And again, the quality of the Indonesians coming through just at the end there to make sure they stay in the lead. 11-10 after 13 minutes in game two, Indonesia are up. Play. play resumes with Ardianto serving. It's quick at it. <laughs> it's just between the middle. Really well placed well by ten. Alfian. Korea return the favor. 11, Defending from Indonesia, oh. but he overhit that completely, Alfian. Oh. As Korea pile on the pressure. And back to level scores. Impressive hitting from Ardianto at the back court. Smash followed by the 13, drop. 12. He's mixing it up, trying to keep his opponents on his on their toes. But really, this match has been so close that there's so little separating the two pairs, which is really a Impressive showing for the Koreans, who are so much lower ranked, 246 in the world, and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a top 10 pair. It's good serving from Indonesia. And Alfian knew exactly where he wanted that. Going over Jin Yong. He tries that with the other side as well. Oh, lovely backhand. Wow. How did he find the space there? That's a moment of genius from Fajar Alfian. Look at that. Gets it across the net and then between the two players. And gets a nod of appreciation from his partner as well. So a four-point lead at a very important stage for Indonesia. Make that five. 17, 12. And at crunch time, Indonesia are proving their mettle.
that Ardianto doing all the work from the backcourt, but Alfian then backing him up at the net. Yes. 18, 12. With the backhand. Again, lovely play from the Indonesians. And they've opened up a six point lead now, three points away from closing out this match. Well, this time that backhand did not work according to plan for Alfian. He's been pretty good with it so far in this match. So four points up. <laughs> Flick of the backhand from Alfian. Wow. Jin Young pouncing on that shuttle. 15 18. Moving from back to front very quickly. It's a good play from the Koreans. Ardianto this time 15. making sure that Indonesia stayed in control. <laughs> that was effortless from the duo. Found the gaps to set up five match points. And this has been impressive from Indonesia in the second half. They've withstood the Korean attack really well. And played some tremendous shots, but... Korea not letting go just yet. Four more match points here. smart about it, wasn't he? Fajar Alfian knew it was going out at the end and let it be. So on the second time of asking, it is Indonesia who comes through 23-21, 21-16 to level the scores at two matches apiece. Thank you. Alfian Match won in by the Indonesia. end knowing it was going out. 21-16. So, a great comeback from the Indonesians in this tie, in this Group A clash, keeping their hopes alive for that top spot as it goes into a fifth and final encounter to decide it all. But Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Ruan Ardianto winning 23-21, 21-16 in 42 minutes. Coming up, it's the final match of the tie. Balawa against Lee in the third men's singles rubber.
Good evening from the Impact Arena. We are coming to you live from Bangkok, Thailand, and it's Thomas Cup action that is taking center stage here on court one with Korea and Thailand in Group A, locking horns tied at two matches apiece. We are into the final deciding encounter between two young guns in Balawa and Lee. Siapta Perkasa Balawa of Indonesia, the 20 year old, is taking on Lee Yoon Gu of Korea, 24 years of age. The third single, Indonesia, represented by Siapta Perkasa Balawa. Two players getting on court. It is their first meeting between the two. The Siabda Perkasa Balawa, world number 636, is going to be playing the match of his life as he tries to give his team the win here at two matches apiece. That is a big, big one now for him to try and win against Lee Yoon Gyu of Korea, world number 604, who's been in action in the Thomas Cup already, unlike his Indonesian opponent. Balawa making his Thomas Cup debut here. As the players get ready to get on court, and get prepared for the toss. It is their first ever time playing each other. Lee Yun Lee, Lee Yun Gyu, sorry, having played in both of Korea's previous ties against yes, Singapore sir. and Thailand. So Indonesia wins the toss and Balava opts to serve. So Lee Yun Gyu says he gets to pick the sides and opts for the near coat, which is what we've seen every time a player has won the toss and chosen sides. Really, Lee Yun Gyu, who's played one match this year, has probably a slight advantage against his younger opponent, having not played any matches this year and making his Thomas Cup debut as well in his first match of 2022. There we have Siabda Perkasa Balawa. 175 centimeters tall, age 20. He's gone as high as 201 in the world. That has dropped. Born in Jakarta, Indonesia. He was not a part of the team for a couple of years, playing juniors up until 2019. He was not selected against. Singapore or Thailand so far. So this will be his first outing of 2022. Lee Yun Yu, as I mentioned, has one match under his belt this year, age 24, 183 centimeters tall, ranked 604, but has been up in the 200s as well, born in Seoul, South Korea. He played at the Korea Masters earlier this year in April. He played the one match and lost to Victor Svensson of Denmark in three. Yet to win a senior title. He's been in action so far in the tournament, beating Sitikon Tamasin. Uh, sorry, losing to Sitikon Thomas in 10-21, 9-21, and then against Joel Koh as well. 
He lost that encounter in three. 21-15, 10 11-21. Jane Lund T. will be the chair umpire in this match. And she will be joined by Satyawan Mahadu in the service judges chair, the Mauritian. All to play for in this fifth and final encounter. This group A match between Indonesia and Korea. It's tied at two apiece. The winner of this match will give the team the win and also with it top spot in group A. Players still warming up as the chair umpire just fixes her gear, her, the mic. But Korea really looking to make some inroads in this tournament, having finished runners up twice in 2008 and 2012 they have been the underdogs knowing that they don't have the same level of top players as other teams do but that has not stopped them they have won their matches albeit close 3-2 wins Ladies in the previous two. On my right, we are looking to do the same here. Yu -Yu Lee. And on my left, Indonesia, represented by Sabda Perkasa Belawa. Indonesia to serve. Love all. Play. It's a great backhand One love. to get himself on the scoreboard. He's gently gliding the shuttle. Two love. This is a good start by the young Indonesian. Gets on the scoreboard. One, two, wipe the court, please. Big hitting from the taller Korean. Thank you. Play. that's gone just out, unfortunately, for Bilawa. We cross the court. Nice. 
lovely play from Three, Lee Yun Gu this time. Absorbing the attack and then change the shot. Setting up his own smash. doing well to just hold off Balawa's attacks. But that was a tremendous service over. Tremendous Three, drop shot. Four. Trying to reset themselves, the players. That's out. Four. Three. And gone out so quick exchanges Sorry, between the two players Four and all. Lee and Yu goes on top of that one that's a nice down the line Five, smash four. from the Korean using his Power from the back court. <laughs> nice play. He really Six, has four. Mixed it up well here, Lee Yun Gu. We saw him win the previous point with a big oh. smash and then shows off his net skills in this one. Oh. The Balawa oh, responds. Five, six. Very well. This is good from Lee. Service over. Staying One with his opponent. Board, please. Thank you. Seven, five. Blade. Two point lead for Lee and Yu. <laughs> he came charging forward so with the smashes. Six, seven. Balawa. Wouldn't give his opponent any chance. Just one point separating the two. It's 
a high lift. Oh, it's a big roar from Eight, Lee Yung Yu there. It's a wrong, long rally. And he's come out on top once more. Going cross court. And he's opened up a three point lead now. Wipe the floor. Maybe the advantage of playing in these conditions the last two matches, albeit he lost those. Thank you. Hopped Lee. Make the better start here. It's a nice net shot. That's out. Well out. Ten, six. From Balawa, he put a lot of effort in that. Trying to calm himself down now. Well, this time he goes between Seven, his opponent's one. legs. Seven, ten. Not giving him any choice or chance. Really well played by Balawa. Twenty-year-old taking control of that point. out. So Balawa keeps the pressure on. Nine, ten. Moving his opponent around really well. With a tight drop shot at the end there. Good save. Quick on their feet, both the players. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a good comeback four. from Seabda Perkasa Balawa. Important time to close the gap, get on level points. Anyone's game now as the points are tied at 10. <laughs> he tried so hard to get there, but it is Balawa who comes out on top. 
at the mid-game break, 11-10. Lee Yun Gyu did try his best, but Balawa takes the lead and gives Indonesia the edge after 12 minutes. Players back on court to Play. resume game one as Balawa will serve. Oh. That's out. Yeah. Return going long. Lee just needs to be aware of the drift and trying to control his shots. He's done pretty well, but... 13 dead. Can't let Balawa back in this. That's a good... Really good smash going cross court from Balawa. Just a flick of the wrist there. Lift from Lee. A bit loose, maybe. Muscling his opponent here is Balawa. Now a five-point lead. He's gone on a run of five points after trailing for a lot of that first game. He's taking charge. Thank you. again this time it was uh, cross net drop shot from Balawa showing great maturity here the 20 year old Right at Lee with that backhand. Sets it up really well with the smash and then goes straight at his opponent. Not allowing him any time to react, really. And so, it's a seven point lead for Indonesia in this first game. Malava. Turning things around. Unfortunately, that's uh, not going his way. Serve is over. 11, 17. And... 12, Lee Yun Gu knows that these next few points are very, very important for him to try and stay in this game. 
and try and push Balawa a little bit more, making the errors, but that's gone long. So three points to taking the first game is Siapta per Casa Balawa. Over the line. It'll be interesting to see whether Lee can do anything here. Seeming to have run out of steam a little bit. Lovely. This time with the backhand drop. Service over. Balawa now six points ahead. 19. The shuttle across. A couple of quick points for Lee. Trying to stay in this game. As he sets up six game points here against Lee Yung Gu. 20 game point 14. He's really come alive in the second half. Whatever his coach said worked. the shuttle on so well nice save and that's out which means game. Balawa has taken the first game 21 first game 14 by Indonesia 21 14 really coming into his own in that second half where he went on a 5.1 run from 10 all to 15 10 but ever since the break it has been Balawa all the way and now Indonesia are a game ahead in this fifth and final tie 20 minutes in Balawa gives Indonesia the lead
back on game. So the player is back on court. As Balawa changes ends, gets ready to serve in the second game. This is again One love. really well set up by Balawa. He's moving his opponent around really well as well. The points progress. <laughs> that was superb at the net. Such confident play. Flip. Gliding that shuttle. He is absolutely pumped up. Siap Deprakasa Balawa, new Indonesian star in the making. He's no, lapped up you're all late. the pressure yeah. and is really taking this match to his opponent. Nice change from Lee. Service over. Going for one, three. The drop there. Look at that. Balawa on the attack. Quick on his feet, but it's too tight a net Two, shot three. to get to and Lee and Yu this time really mixing up his shot selection to open One up the court. Please. One point separating the two now. After two quick points from Lee, Play. put him puts him right back in the mix. Three all. And it'll be interesting to see how Balawa deals with the drift as well on this side. Costly errors that give Lee the lead. <laughs> that was well played by Lee and Vu. Five, three. Going towards the edges of the court. Wipe the court, please. Even when Balava managed to save the first one. He'd opened up the court wide for Lee to place it wherever he wanted, pretty much. Thank you.
And so Lee up by two points here. Just like that, Lee and Yu has turned things around in the second game. Yes. This was the concern. Seven, three. And with Balawa trying to control the shuttle, playing on the near end. Just long. Four, seven. He's got to try and control the errors now, both Lee and Balawa. Such a close call. Working in Bilawa's favor there. Yeah. That was service over. Well left by Eight. Lee. Judge that. Just leaving it there. It's nicely placed by Lee and Gu. Ten, five. So Balawa now struggling to find his range in this second game as we've seen so many players before him He's not the 11, five, able to control the shuttle gone. at the drift Lee Yung Yu takes the lead at the break at 11-5 six points ahead Indonesia with the a lot of chasing to do here. So Lee puts Korea ahead in the second game, 11-5 after 11 minutes. Scored one, 20 seconds. Scored one, 20 seconds. Please exceed. Eleven five. Play. So the second game resumes with Lee serving. And that's in as well. Twelve five. He's Missed just a couple of those shots now. But Lee Yun Gu going about his business as 
the usual. Go! Six points now for Balawa to catch up. It's good defending from Service so over Lee. Thirteen six. Creeping up into Balawa's game Six. as Lee takes control. I just think he's been a bit put off by the drift. Good attack from Lee. It looked like it was going out, but service over. Balawa kept it in play and BB Lee capitalized. Seven. Now eight points ahead. That's again. It has been a struggle for Balawa in the second game. He knows it as well. Good defense. Back on his feet, but this time. Service over. Balawa opens up the court. Eight. He moves his opponent around. Thank you. Still an eight point lead for Lee Yun Yu. Play. This match seems destined to go to a third. Unless Balawa can do something here. That's out as well. So all the shots that he was finding in that first game, he's now struggling to make in the second. Lovely. That's Eight more like it from eight. Lee and you. Wipe the board, please. Going cross court. Knowing his opponent is nowhere near. Thank you. Ten points ahead now. The Korean. Well out. Not sure what Service he was thinking over. there. Nine. Eighteen. Completely. Going wild. Ten. Eighteen. Quick couple of points for Balawa there. 
Nice little net roll. But on the return, Lee finds the net instead. That's good defending by Balawa here. Stuff from Lee and Gu. Service over. Covering the court. 19, 10. Very well. To find the gaps himself. And it's just two points away from clinching this second game. That's a smart shot by 11-19. Straight down the line. save that's out Lunge and so Lee Yoongi sets up nine game points please. after some Long exchanges in that last point. And Balawa has clearly struggled on this end of the court. Nowhere near Thank the you. player he was in the previous game. 20. So, game point. Lee 11. will serve and try to convert on the first time of asking. And with that, it is okay. Lee Yoon Gu who seals the second game 21 11. 21 11. One game and all. Nice little drop shot to set things up, but it was the smash that went straight into the net that gave Lee the point. So, still all to play for in this tie. The two matches apiece. And a game apiece in the fifth. It'll be the third and final game that decides it all after 40 minutes on court. So, into game three, we go. As Final the players game. change ends. Love all. It's a game of peace. Lee Yung Yu will serve. Oh. And it is a 
Attacking start by the Korean as he tries to get on top of this third this game quickly. We saw what Balawa could do on that end, in that first game. So Lee needs to ensure that he stays within touching distance. This is nice play. Attacking play, showing great intent. Lee Yung Yu. So much riding on this for both players. Who I'm sure don't want to be the one that loses the tie. But Balawa is right back in it. Big hit. He's using his smashes again. Didn't see that too often. Oh, lovely. Balawa has come back strong. Trying to make the most of his time on the far end of the court. Thank you. This time it is Lee Yung Yu with the powerful smash down the line. He goes. Big jump as well. Three, to set two. it up. And neither player going to let go of this easily. Indonesians backhand. And Lee Yung Yu takes a two point lead here. for the drop shot there, Balawa. Surprising his opponent. And still. Just one point separating the two. Just about stays ahead. 
in this third game. And that's a delightful Six, shot. Three. Lee Yung going strong. Testing his opponent. Net. Lee and Gu. Challenge. It's called out though. Korea challenges call in. Out. Did look in, but it is out. Good call from the line judge. He's so close. And so Balawa claims another point. Five, six. Play. Yeah, he turned his back completely to his opponent there, Balawa. Service no way he was going to recover from that. <laughs> Lee pouncing Seven, five. on the shuttle. So Lee Gun Yu now three points ahead Eight, five. in this deciding match, this deciding game. Important. Go! Moment for both these players. They try to establish control. Palawa looking a little bit tired. Doesn't have the same intensity in his game as he did when he started. defended by Lee oh. straight at his opponent Service that one Nine, six. as the Korean team finds their voice So, Lee and Yu makes Six. 
the decisive move just before the mid-game break. Four points ahead now of Balawa. Umpire wanting to get the game going. That is well in. So Lee Yoongu takes an 11 6 lead in this ends. third. Players will change ends as well. It's a big moment for the Korean. As he looks to give his team the much wanted victory. 13 minutes in, Lee Yung Yu up 11 6. Balawa to get this deciding game restarted. But Lee Yung is, is sniffing well, the finish line now. Cheers Eight, from the 12. Indonesian camp in support of Balawa as well. This is a brilliant attack from Balawa. It's Nine. come alive. Going cross court with his smash at the end there, but really aggressive play from the 20 year old. Lee leading by three. Thank you. Impressive from the youngster Just trying to push the shuttle over his opponent. Had his back completely turned, Lee. Suddenly he's found another gear, hasn't he? Sabda Perkasa Balawa. 
very impressive. A oh, big cross court smash. And he's leveled the score here. Putting Indonesia well, right oh, back in the mix. It's been quite the turnaround after the break. Balawa saving Bulge. his best for the last, maybe. Thank you. It's a lovely drop. He is re-energized as the Indonesian team get on their feet. 13, 12. You can hear the fans and the teammates finding their voices once more. This is quite the turnaround by the world number 636. What an impressive showing for the young Balawa. Enjoying himself out there. Just look at that. It is sublime hitting from Balawa. He was trailing by four points earlier. Just turn things around. Balawa set it up fantastically. There we have the crowd. The team on their feet, in support, in full voice. 15. They're wow. loving it. This turnaround by Balawa has been nothing short of fantastic. Indonesia now sniffing blood. Coming alive with every point, it gets better and better. Sixteen, twelve. Just look at that. Such confidence. And Lee Yung Yu needs to do something here. Just like that. So it's over. Keep it going a point at a time. 13, 16. Not get taken in by all the noise that is being generated by the Indonesian fans. Going for the drop, but 17, 13, 
What the floor? The floor, please. Suddenly, the stadium has come alive, as has Balawa. What a fantastic turnaround. Thank you. And certainly has rattled Lee a little bit. Asking the floor to be wiped one more time. Just want to slip up at these important, crucial moments. Thank you. So, four points away from sealing this match. And he's four points ahead of his opponent. His Balawa. Oh, good save, but Lee was in control of that Sorry, point. it off. Lee was still coming back to his position, but Balawa went rushing in there. The Korean team. Knowing that still everything to play for, just play. two points separating the two. under pressure, Eight, using the 15. energy from the crowd as well. Makes such a difference. for both teams. Thank you. Balawa still two points ahead. Play. Three away from winning. That is out. There we go. The Indonesians know the end is near. They have really th turned things around in this tie. They were two down. And now they have four match points match point. to win this tie. Balawa going cross court that time. Four match points. Will he do it the first time round? This Thank is you. fantastic for Indonesia. Play. It 
save. Oh. <laughs> He's done it! He's won it for Indonesia! What a moment this is for Shyamda Prakasa Balawa as he hugs his coach in absolute delight. Big cheer, kissing the flag. And he's come through, the 20 year old, for his team when it mattered most. March what a moment. Indonesia. For 21, 20 year old, Sabda Perkasa Balawa. A new hero for Indonesia has been found. Looked all but out in that third game at the break, and now. He's turned things around and given Indonesia the victory here in the Group A clash. They've come back from two matches down to win this Group A tie. Confirmation of the score there, 21-10, 11-21, 21-16 in an hour and seven minutes. Shabda Perkasa Balawa has done it for Indonesia. So, wrapping up the results from that Group A match here on Court 1. It was Hyo Kwang Hee that gave Korea the lead, beating Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. And he did it in 21-16, 15-21, 21-14. And that was followed by Kang and Seo, making it 2-0 for Korea in three games as well, fighting back from that mid-game Ross. And then Shazar Hiren Rustavito coming back for Indonesia, pulling one back in three games as well before Alfian and Ardianto made it two apiece for Indonesia. And then the man of the hour, Syabda Perkasa Balawa, coming through in 68 minutes against Lee Yun Gyu as Indonesia sealed top spot in Group A. Well, that's it for me, Marstadt, for this session. But we've just confirmation there that Indonesia will go ahead as group winners, having come through with three wins out of three. Korea also go through to the knockouts in second with two wins and a loss. Thailand in third, Singapore ending the group. Coming up next, it is more Thomas Cup action here on Court 1, Group B, with Denmark taking on China in a mammoth battle. That's coming up very, very shortly. <laughs>